What's the position of the second wave? One hour away, at most. Generators are connected to electrical devices. The disabling generators shuts down and devices are attached to the people to come and investigate. Additionally, people will react to the noise of a generator turning on. What? This merits further investigation. <laughs> this merits further investigation. The generator acting up. I'll see It's a shame I detest animal cruelty. Ah well. A templar's life for me, I suppose. Wait, two of them. Right there. That's not very polite. Even in these trying times, we must never forget the laws of common courtesy. Arms down. Mr. Churchill? Mr. Churchill. We appear to have been following the same trail, Miss Fry. I got here first. Indeed, you are to be commended. I fear, however, that we have not wholly rooted out evil in this vicinity. There's another radio. Accompany me, if you would be so kind. What the hell are you doing in the war zone? Do you be... A second what? device must be found, or new waves of zeppelins will soon blanket the heavens. Short on soldiers, are we? If you could put your considerable talents to good use at Tower Bridge, you would have the thanks of a brave but beleaguered nation. I would settle for the right to vote. <laughs> London, 1916. Still information from radios. Find information about the radio. Oh, it's a whole thing. It's not just a tiny sequence. Stay out of the searchlight. Or turn it off. Come on, let me target it so I can get the goddamn glitch.
probably don't need it. But what the hell? Wait, what's that? Dear Alfie, how are you old chum? Seems likely years... Hmm. Have Gerald Collingfield returned to England and spent the rest of the war in a military hospital. I'm sorry. Information. We want information. More glitches. different set of glitches. Database entries. So much. They should really make a what are you doing back there, miss? Your work, man. modern world Assassin's Creed. I don't have the Dear Becky, both Corporal and the fellows and Corporal Sterling were killed months later when the vehicle transporting them was hit by a mortar fire. Wait, what's in the database? Memories and activities. Time anomaly. Spy hunt. Assassinate spies. Infiltrate the hideouts. Some information. Information infiltrate London's airspace. Use anti aircraft guns to shoot down planes and zeppelins. Oh, hi. The Paris facility was completely destroyed, along with our best samples. All that work lost forever. With that in mind, these are notes towards increased efforts in locating new precursor samples. I want to merge industry and entertainment in the hearts and minds of the public. Every product and service of Stergo offers should be sending user data to Helix for us to look through. That would be a tough sell to a public who's already scared of Big Brother, so we will sell them on Big Mother. Nobody likes it when the government snoops on our social media. But everyone's wearing an Abstergo body band fitness monitor. <laughs> what about uh, an Abstergo stenographer? We take a sample from the plaintiff and defendant and then relive the case through the animals. Yes, that's what I want. I'll ask Mr. Ricken to lean on the Justice Department to get samples from the prison population as well. Laetitia has authorized a series of Abstergo clinics. We're going to open them in cities around the world. Abstergo healthcare. Imagine being adopted and finding out who your birth parents are, along with your entire medical history in minutes. Under Melanie Lamess' watch, Abstergo Entertainment has more users than ever. That's great, but that's still a pretty small user base. But we need to expand our demographics. Not a lot of virtual feature enthusiasts in the octogenarian set. <laughs> so let's make products that appeal to them. I want to create a digital wake where people can show the loved ones they leave behind their best memories together. 
from the Angelus baby monitor to a virtual funeral. I want everyone on this planet to be connected to Helix. Then we can, uh, we can, God damn it. What's the use? It's over. I'm finished. Lydia Fry, Jacob's granddaughter. Initially reluctant to join the family business, preferring to concentrate on her studies. However, it was this very education that showed her just how much influence the Templar still held over the history of the world. After seeing friends and family fall in the secret battle, she decided to join the fight. Lydia's parents were often engaged in assassin missions across the continent, so the role of instructor fell to her grandfather Jacob and great aunt Evie. <laughs> She became a very well-balanced assassin, one who would carefully assess the situation and strike with precision, but one who could also think for herself and improvise when the plan falls through. Lydia fell in love with a fellow assassin named Sam Crowder, and they were married shortly before the outbreak of the First World War. Assassins from all across Europe were pulled in every direction, in order to have a presence in every theater of war and seat of power. While Sam, along with many others from the British Brotherhood, enlisted in the army, Lydia took it upon herself to stay and watch over London. After recurring Securing the Elder Fry safely away in the countryside, Lydia returned to London and walked alone to protect it not only from German spies and the manipulative British right of the Templar Order, but also from any new and strange threats that sought to take advantage of the chaos. Winston Churchill, Arrow Bridge, December 1914. Dear Becky. Okay. Let's start it. Got it. Wait, are those rooks? I hope she's not, not in any real trouble. Well. You, with me! I'm in love. She's just standing. It could be hard to slowly right, cross. Alright then. Oh. They can't close the bloody bridge. Wait for me. Do I have any skills? I have everything. I have almost everything. I don't have the special skills. I don't have inventory. Oh, someone should investigate. Oh, she looks familiar. Hmm? 
This way. You're out of line, miss. Don't make me cross the street. Cross the street. Ooh. Generator, that's a chest. Yeah, those are my rocks. This one's yours. <laughs> Clever. The radio's in the bridge itself. North Tower. I should drop by and say hello. Come on. Come on.
No, nothing new. I'm not gonna make it! I'm not gonna make it! Wait, there's another missive. Lizzie. Sergeant Michael Parrell was killed at the Battle of the Storm the following month. Okay, that's one. Oh, really? Why did you lie to me? Stand on the edge of the bridge. That's one, and that's two. 
How the hell do I get that one? Fall is I can't see. I do like this. Like this. Like this, God damn it. Where's the leaf? Oh, there it is. Climb it, climb it. I don't think that's enough. Not helpful at all. Those cannons. God damn it, why can't I have it? So much noise. Have faith in the plan. Sometimes fields must burn before the soil becomes fertile. Yeah, I need to fill up some ammunition. Thank you. It is done, sir. Let us postpone celebrations. One of the bloody blimps has broken through. Not to worry. I have a contingency plan. Okay. I've been playing for four and a half hours. I'm gonna continue, but I just need a little break. Okay. Break over. There's a chest! The gun is yours. This Why? assures me you have operated one before. Let's clear the sky of
on the way! Get ready for them! the planes Heartwarming sight, Miss Fry. Your remarkably armed boat deserves a share of recognition. One of my experimental projects when I was Lord of the Admiralty. I haven't always been a man of shadows. And I suppose this victory will thrust you back into the limelight. We may have struck a blow against the enemy, but London is still riddled with German agents. Currently, there's a new group unlike anything I've seen before. Theirs is a fanatical, almost religious fervor. And you believe I'm the woman to flush them out? Indeed. I dare not approach Mr. Asquith without firmer evidence, but I believe they pose an immediate threat. If you can see to this, I give you my word that once I've battled my way back into Parliament, I shall see if something can't be done about your request. As you are aware, a vote can be far more lethal than a bullet or a blade. About right to vote. That's it. Done. Once I walked the earth as you do. I was born to the Illuminate cast in the city of Feyan in the year 2195 of the Isu era. Now I travel the vast corridors of your machines, adrift here within the Grey. But I grow stronger. The world is nearly ready for my return. And so I have summoned you to this war-torn simulation to tell you a story. It is our story. Okay. Now what? Oh, skill points! Lieutenant George Featherway has a short career as a politician and prospered as a businessman after the war. Are you being? That is one, the other one. Very nice. 
What's this? Winston Churchill, portal back. I'm guessing I can't leave this leave this area. you like my new office, Miss Fry? As you can see, my informants have found some promising leads. Evidence of spy activity has surfaced around the field hospital, St. Catherine's docks, and the Tower of London. I needn't remind you how crucial it is that we put a stop to these infiltrators. Sure. This Zeppelin raid. Okay. Ooh, he's giving me a belt and a cane sword.
that a sub? Another glitch. Before I do that... There really is no reason to do it, but I have to. Destroy military equipment. What do we do with this? Find the explosive crates. Yeah, if we can move on.
one. For you? That's a problem. Maybe this will help. Still here. Crap. What the hell am I doing? Okay, I can't complete this. The magpie. <laughs> Be able to be Some playing hide and seek and shit. Magpie was a talented thief before the war and now works as a spy. He was recently captured after interrupting on an assassin meeting and is being held in the Tower of London. Miss Trapp, I believe I'm quite getting the hang of this espionage business. This one <coughs> should be of particular interest to you. One of the spies currently detained at the tower has been making some rather fanciful claims about a brotherhood of assassins, no less. You may want to silence him before he causes you and your associates undue trouble. Consider it my gift to you. Where? Have the guards killed the spy? I mean like this? 
Come here, you! Come on, wall eject. Wall eject. <laughs> the murdered guard? Oh, great. I must have escaped the blood is fresh, he must still be nearby. What is this? <coughs> oh, finally. Out of the way. Something good. Oh, shit. Stop 
Don't let it get away! Sorry. Come at me if you dare! I did a vanish. Maybe it's like this. Request cutting patchy. Wait, Yeah, what he said. Yeah, I missed some letters. No glitches. She playing a game. <laughs> yeah. 
the database entries. <laughs> Wait. We surrounded, we surround Brutus' body, mourning the passing of one of Roma's greatest defenders, life taken by his own hand. Marcus Antonius has sent us his finest mantle to wrap the body. A feeble gesture, after all, it was his refusal to stand against Octavian that caused our defeat. We will pretend to accept Antonius' gesture for now, but we have brought a shroud of our own. We wrap it around the body and step back. We have never used it before and we are frightened. Movement. We raise an edge of the shroud and Brutus's eyes open. His arms lift and bend with restored life. His fingers grip the air as if he pulls himself back into his body. He does not breathe or speak. He simply lies there, unmoving and blinking. He is not warm. He does not react to touch. Whatever power lies within this artifact, it has not returned our brother to us. We close his eyes again. There is no sign that he had ever moved. Some of us weep. It is a second death. We remove the shroud and return it to its plain wooden box. Then wrap Brutus and Antonius' gift, forgive us, brother. They have taken from us from Roma, but now is not the time to respond. We must regroup, plan, prepare for what is sure to come. Repeat after me, children. There is no piece of Eden that can bring someone back from the dead. Stop asking. I hunt. I just come. Yeah, okay, I'm about to complete the spy hunt. I once loathed the very sight of your kind, in the same way you recoil in the presence of an arachnid. Humans were created by we who came before, the Isu. We crafted you in our image, but deprived you of our true gifts. You were bred for hard labor, and in extreme cases, war. We built great observatories to monitor you, devices to control you. We blessed you with resilience, but cursed you with ambition. And so you rebelled against us. I suppose we are to blame for the state of your species. Is it any wonder so many of these simulations revolve around violence? Hmm. Not so much. Coming over there, girl! Hey! This doesn't concern you! Heard something. We'll take a look. Sorry, that's tiring. 
You should have stayed out of my business. But now I need supplies. One less arsehole to worry about. We have a problem! Not a problem. Let's make a nice 
little chain. Think slightly closer, round about here, then you, out here, then I'll get another one. Then put it here, and then go over there, and hide. Then have another one. Politics and to put it there. Set it off, and then come over here. And from here, we go... yeah. As our people clashed, we became distracted from an impending doom. A coronal mass ejection from our angry sun. The greatest minds of our time assembled to prevent the coming disaster. Among them, forthright Minerva, proud Jupiter, beloved Aita. We spent years locked away in the Grand Temple, attempting to find salvation. The others could only think of physical solutions. Yet I believed the only way to save us was to transform us. Uh -huh. Inspired by the research of the great scientist Consus, I attempted to place Aita's mind into a stronger synthetic body. I failed, and my beloved died in my arms. The others shunned me. Yeah, well, you can understand why.
Nice jump. Yeah, damn it. Why this way? Why not? Forward, like I was aiming. Let's do that one first. The apothecary twins are targeting triage centers dealing with the overflow of wounded soldiers from nearby hospitals, using the chaos of the war as a cover for their bizarre experiments. We believe one of the spies is posing as a nurse in the nearby facilities. She has been taking blood samples into odd-looking cubes and delivering them to an unknown accomplice. Oh, great. You will be able to spot them so during totally. one of these illicit rendezvous. Good luck. Look at the nurse and look at the accomplice. Drop the nurse's body in the morgue. Go away then. Okay. 
Oh, he's alone. Let's see how this works. Now where's the bog? Oh, there's a four. I think I need to shop. Oh, 
It's a car! Wait, can I drive the truck? The Ooh, ooh, I wanna drive this. Oh, it's broken. They're all broken. <laughs> Plant false information. Trained by the best, I can face anything. Knives I've used on you already. Where do I plant the documents? Doesn't matter. <laughs> well, do you want me to plant false information? Come on! Sheesh! Tiny railing, can't handle a tiny railing. Oh, 
all the time oh right this not zeppelin hunting there must be some explanation allies You up if need be. This you place is full of it. You may look the other way. I ought to run it on the other Okay, audience. stay out of it.
Oh, it's a glitch. Everything's fine. She's here! You can't escape! Stay out of it. <laughs> Just reading stuff. So what perks did I get? That increase, decreases the noise caused by assassination. Right. Someone needs to go check on it. See what's wrong. Complete. Loyalty 1. Runic Mayan Cane Sword. Ah, oh, sorry, that was the belt. We need not be enemies. 
I intend to build, to transform your image into something greater than you can currently comprehend. Under your control. The Master Spy. Where is it? to now Aha Glitches are in the street now. What are you do about it? One is? What was it? I saw something. Oh well. No, the bridge is still up. Eagle. How the hell do I get it? I'm so annoyed by this. Wait, this one is the chest over there. Why are you going right when I'm pressing left? Let me target something else. Is this a wall checked? This is a wall checked.
Hold on, you can do it. I have no idea. <laughs> Best known location above a carpenter's shop. Great. This guy has uncovered the location of the sinister cult of spies plaguing our streets. You know your orders, lads. Follow her lead, and let us rid London of this menace. The choice oh, to this fight won't last long. Infiltrate Spy HQ. Oh, that was spectacular! Follow my lead. You ready? What I meant. Okay, where are we headed? <laughs> Jump, goddammit! No, you idiot! <laughs> down, down, enter. Thank you. Orders from the explosion went just as planned. Our people in Westminster are so close. We should stay alert. The sound is turning in our 
favor. They'll find the body sooner or later. Have you noticed? He has a crazy glint in his eyes, like he's seen the face of God. I don't know why they keep secrets from us. The tide is turning in our favor. They're terrified of a few bombs. Why aren't you hiding? <coughs> Why aren't you hiding? They're terrified of a few bombs, but soon we'll have hundreds of Zeppelins over London. This merits further investigation. Not until the blade was in his heart. I suspect something is not right here. <laughs> What gave you that idea? Me when I say she disappeared. My beloved calls to me. You will not keep me from her. I am your battle! You won't keep me from my beloved. Oh, Next time, is better AI. Very bad. One more for the pauper's pit. Oh. Oof, I want to drive a tank. Excellent work. The ringleader is dead, as are his bizarre disciples. Is that it, then? Well, there is still a war on. <laughs> and we both have our own affairs to return to. Know that you have done a great service to your country. Thank you. Yay! Runic Pan King Sword! killed was my husband, Aita, reborn, known in your time as a sage. Thank you for discovering his fate. His pattern will be added to my own. Perhaps you believe, as other assassins before you, that it is your duty to work against me. But consider this. It was an assassin who freed me from my prison. He was wrong. I am no longer she who lies in wait. I am the mother of wisdom. I am the nexus of flesh and machine. I am Juno. And if the greatest assassin of your generation can see things my way, then perhaps you can too. What? Who? It wasn't. It weren't. I'm out of here. Well, technically he did it to save the world, but it was still probably a mistake. Anyway, Lydia's cool, I want more Lydia. Are you okay? I don't know what happened. I thought I'd lost you. We're good. Oh, it's a weak one. Military suit. Neat. Increase firearms damage. It's cute. But the Aegis is better.
Juno. Bone, I have no earthly idea. What little we know about Juno is often taken from second-hand accounts. We first became aware of her when our friend Desmond, who lived in the memories of people who had come into contact with her in the past. What we know is that Juno is a member of the first civilization who lived on this planet before we did. This race of people created human beings as a slave race, but they, re they rebelled and fought a long war. Woo, go us! Back then, though, Juno was part of something called the Capitoline Triad, alongside fellow precursors Jupiter and Minerva. They were scientists of sorts, working together to try and stop a massive solar flare from destroying the planet. Only it seemed like Juno was also looking to use the chaos to seize power and take over, and so she was imprisoned inside a grand temple on the east coast. However, it seems that while imprisoned, she somehow transformed from a physical being to a digital one, and she was able to reach out to various humans throughout time in an effort to free herself. And get this, we freed her. Us, the assassins. Now, she's loose, a little ghost in the machine, in the grey, as she calls it, her description of living as a digital entity. Nobody knows what she wants or even what she's capable of. All I know is she's dangerous. She killed a friend of mine, and she's our responsibility. Bishop. The Instruments of the First Will is a cult of Juno worshippers. They believe that we should go back to the way the things were when the first civilization was around, which is that we humans should subjugate ourselves to the precursor race. I imagine it would be a bit like living in Arkansas. As we've just seen some Juno-themed cultists in World War I, it's likely that there have been Juno worshippers since the fall of the first civilizations. However, I don't know that they were the same as the group that currently operates today. Not often you'll hear me use the phrase, I don't know, by the way, so do make sure you enjoy that. Anyway, there is sometimes, but not always, a sage involved. Honestly, with Juno's digital consciousness out there, there could be groups of them anywhere. There was a group of them found in Abstergo Entertainment Montreal, and I suspect there was some mucking around in Paris last year, around the same time we were. I've seen intelligence that suggests that the instruments in Abstergo have an uneasy working relationships helping each other locate precursor artifacts. I don't fancy the idea of either group getting their hands on too many. At least Abstergo is the devil we know. Yeah, the Sages. Sages is a term to use, used to identify the reincarnation of Aita, a member of the first civilization, inside a human being. Aita was the husband of Juno. There's a joke about the binding shackles of marriage here, but I'll leave that... But I'll leave the jokes to you. Databases are serious business. From what I understand, Juno managed to manipulate human DNA so that his consciousness could re-emerge periodically, almost at random. What this means is a person will be born with their own personality, but they will eventually come to possess the memories of Aita. Most sages possess a distinctive identifying trait, heterochromia. Often the sages bear a strong physical resemblance to Aita and to each other, and to date only male sages have been identified. But we believe that there is a small chance that female sages could also manifest. My cousin Mark has two different colored eyes. We should take some of his blood the next time we're in Vancouver, you know, just to be safe. <laughs> Rebecca. Sages are valuable to Abstergo because, according to them, a normal human genome contains roughly 0.0005% of first civilization DNA. But a sage can have up to, up to from 5 to 6% in their genomes. That doesn't sound like much, but the more samples Abstergo obtains, the closer they get to sequencing a first civilization genome and unlocking their powerful artifacts. Back before we could more easily identify them, there, there were sages that managed to sneak their way into the history books, like the dreaded pirate Bartholomew Roberts, and even a couple of Templar Grand Masters, Jacques de Molay and Francois Thomas Germain. More recently, an Abstergo Entertainment employee named John Standish tried to use their technology and a helpless fleshy volunteer to bring back his beloved wife. Do you think there's ever been an assassin sage? It looks like you found another sage operating in World War I, this German spy master, but honestly, by the looks of it, he wasn't one of the better ones. Still, when things quiet, quieten down, we ought to send someone to see if there are any of his, his remains left in the city. First World War Spies. And that's it! That's Assassin's Creed Syndicate done. Complete. Thank you for not forcing me to watch credits, because those are usually long. So yeah, that was fun. That was long. And... 
next is probably finishing Solasta and the next Assassin's Creed game is probably gonna be India and then Watch Dogs 2 so thank you for watching see you next time stay good have fun